And good evening. Right now at 6, if you run out of medication or need an emergency prescription fill, the last thing you want to see is your go-to pharmacy close. But a shortage of pharmacists has caused some major pharmacies to shut down in the middle of the day. Rebecca Clough goes in-depth on the local impact. Pharmacist Kyle Beyer usually has a steady stream of customers at the North Shore Pharmacy on Capitol Drive. But Friday, he saw some new faces, people who normally go to the nearby Walgreens. We had several patients pop in looking to get their prescription filled, but they were unable to get it because their pharmacy was closed. So um, tried our best, called neighboring stores, were on hold for a while, so created a little bit of chaos. Walgreens told us its Shorewood location was closed Friday from 8 to noon, and its Racine store at Durand and Lathup closed after 4 Friday and all day Saturday. A Walgreens spokesperson says they're experiencing staffing challenges and that, quote, due to the ongoing labor shortage and ongoing demand for COVID-related services, as a result, there are some instances in which we've had to adjust or reduce pharmacy operating hours. University of Wisconsin pharmacy professor David Creeling says pharmacist burnout is real. The universities had increased their programs to try to combat staffing shortages. The Bureau of Labor Statistics had forecast a 4 to 6 percent growth rate of pharmacists between 2019 to 2021, but that was before the pandemic. The new phenomenon is that COVID threw an extra shock to the system that um, made some work environments and maybe a lot of work environments challenging you know, staffing issues, um, customer complaints, extra duties. Creeling says that caused some people to leave and less people to go into the profession. Now the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a 2% decline in pharmacists over this next decade. The owner of Hyatt Pharmacy says he's dealing with the issue. We're looking for eight pharmacists today. He says he knows burnout is a major problem and he's trying to hire more people. I haven't had a day off for a couple of months. Um, honestly, it's just working continuously. Weekends, forget it. I, I have to be here for the weekend because if I'm not, we would have to close one of the stores. The issue of burnout is the reason Maureen McGuire left a retail pharmacy for an independent one. Today was her first day of work at Ye Old Pharmacy in Cedarburg. In retail or community pharmacy, uh, most of us work 11, 12 hour shifts as the only pharmacist and every other weekend. And so having done that for how many years now, I'm just exhausted and tired of it. And Independent pharmacies like Hyatt here say they rely on word of mouth and job postings to find staff, while places like Walgreens says they rely on bonuses. And that amount, according to sources at CNN, say they can be as much as $75,000 a person. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.